Listen, I got a disclaimer. I still got the beard bone. If y'all, if y'all don't go eat that crab kings, something wrong with you. Hey, yep, it's T Rose, and I'm back. Actually, uh, today I'm actually gonna go get some food, and I'm going to do a mukbang. But it's something I do kind of want to show y'all. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm pretty much going to talk about why I've been gone and stuff like that. And also, I'm going to do a giveaway. So, it's going to tell you what's been going on. Do the giveaway. Tell you what I have upgraded. Because I know I don't leave and come back with nothing. That never happens. So, what I'm going to do is go get the food. Talk about the giveaway. Talk about what's been actually going on. Let y'all know. And tell y'all what we have and what we got going even more now. For the future, like, watch this. So, I got the food. All that I can say right now, so far, it smells fantastic. I can't wait. I can't wait. Back at the house. I'm very excited. I want to start. She gave me a drink, though. That's that. that you can't tell by the side of us. That's weird. But she gave me a drink. But I'm gonna show you what I got. Alright. Oh wow. Wow, they give you gloves. Is this bibs? They give you bibs too? Oh, okay. Might have to put that on. I usually don't use gloves when I eat seafood because why? Uh I got napkins on my own. That's the straw. Oh. This is the crawfish. Hold on. I don't eat pork. Or beef, but I say that for my mom, and my auntie. They'll, they'll love that. But look, it's the crawfish, the corn. I may, I may put a little lemon on there. Okay, okay. This, that's the sausage. I, I wanted both of them to the side. They only, they gave me one on to the side. I wanted both of them to the side. But um, this the lobster tail. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, got a little something in there. Look at that lobster. Oh lord, hold on. I'm gonna cover that back up. Okay. This is the main course right here though. It's the main course, I want y'all. It's the, the the shrimp, the, the crab, with the the potato. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look at this. Oh, oh hold on. I'm stay open now. Stay open. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Let me put the gloves on. Let me put the gloves on. I don't know what's, you know, size these are. I usually, I'm a, I'm a medium, but put the gloves on. Ooh. I feel like I'm really gonna do some work here. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Got it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some spoke. I'm gonna do with this. Mm -mm -mm. Gave me some whip, 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 napkins, sweat walls, whatever. I guess they thought I was ordering all this for a lot of people. <laughs> they didn't know it was just for me. <laughs> but uh, when I say that, they, they can three of these. It's only one of me. All right, just the bag that I came in. Gonna put that right there. I don't want to put it on, so because I'm gonna use it to put. I'm using to put stuff in there. Right. I don't know what she, what, what they thought was gonna happen with the utensils. Ooh, man. I ain't used to putting no beard on. Like, hold on. I ain't used to putting no beard on. Gotta. Yeah, there. I don't think I can. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it got a little, it got a little thing to drop the, okay, it got a little drop, 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 but pocket, it got a drop pocket, that's what I'm gonna call it. Man, this is like, let me, let me do this, on, let me do this one right here, hold on, that's the size that don't want that, no, don't want this size of Jesus, so hold on, that's it, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna feed those that ain't part of this fist, hold on, I know y'all like, what, the, we gonna, we sitting this, why is it so big? 
kind of sausages are they trying to feed people? Lord. I'm going to put that, put that back on here. They can have it. We don't want no pork. We don't want no pork. But, uh, this, this is honestly, truly amazing. I don't know where to start. I'm going to get a potato. We're going to start there. We're going to start from there. All right. Mm. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get a, a scrump next. Listen. Potato. <laughs> no. I got the Cajun butter, by the way. That's a flavor. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, let me get another one. I love potatoes. I'll tell you right now. Oh. I told my brother I was trying this. He was like, they good. I said, all right. Mm. Cause I done had a lot of, a lot of, if you don't know Memphis, got a lot of different seafood places that done popped up recently. And a lot of a lot of people talk bad about them, but I ain't heard nobody talk bad about Crab Kings though. I ain't heard nobody talk about it. It's it's in Memphis. It's in Barley. It's a suburb of Memphis. But if you don't know, I'm a Memphis YouTuber. But this, I forgot what the whole video was supposed to be about. I start. I just start eating it. I can't even get enough. Mm. And corn. I love corn too. But hold on, let me get this last little strip. Hold on. Mm. 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 Let me see. Let me get a bite of this corn. Bite of this corn. Hold on. Hold on. Make sure you got some seasoning on it. We'll see. Hold on. Mm. I wasn't ready. I wasn't. Mm. I wasn't ready. Oh my. Oh my mama gonna kill me. She ain't got none of this. Oh, she gonna kill me. Oh, I hope she hope they don't come in by that. But okay, let me get let me get into the video. But hold on, hold on. Let me get let me get the crawfish. Hold on. But okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all while I do it. Listen, when I first started YouTube, I was excited. I used to do video editing and stuff like that when I was in high school, and I fell in love with it. Like the graphics and stuff come out, all of that. I fell in love with it. I just wanted to use YouTube. But I started off YouTube basically broke, period. Like, started off with what I already had, using free stuff, or stuff I paid for, and like, back in the day type stuff. I hope y'all didn't see that, but if I did, I did. Listen, but that's how I first started out with YouTube, it was it's something I wanted to do. And I said, you can make money from it? So why not do something that you love to do and you make money from it only makes sense man hold on i forgot i had other stuff hold on mm -mm. the food's so good mm. i keep going back to the potatoes i need i need help and as far as the egg goes i don't like the yellow part of the eggs i only like the white one time I used the egg, like eat the egg part if it's like devil eggs and like they season it and stuff, then I like it then. But other than that, if it's unseasoned, I don't like it. But even then, I had a boiled egg, seasoned boiled egg before, <laughs> like seafood boiled egg. But I'm gonna try it with the yellow. I can't get into it. I can't. I tried. Can't say I didn't try. I literally tried. 
but just the egg white, oh my god, it's delicious. But I can't do the yellow part. Mm -mm, gonna take that off. But yeah, uh, that's how I started off YouTube. I started off using my older Samsung that I had, and I was doing. I did my first reaction video, like real reaction video was yeah, Scissor, The Weekend. Yeah, I did that with two friends of mine, and when I did it, worked it together, everything, I was so happy. But I had issues. I'm not gonna lie, because that camera stopped producing quality auto like if I had recorded audio it would sound static -y. like you'll hear like static but it still takes fantastic photos it's gonna forever be my, my photography camera but um I got crab legs but um yeah so I did that and I started going strong making videos you know obviously you're gonna have some dislikes Especially being a, re a reactor, you don't have dislikes. But I'll start getting subscribers, and I'm like, man, like people really want to see this. Like, people really. And I was like, man, and I was like, okay. So I started getting more and more into it. Got um, intros, did outro, set up, all that. And I was happy. Like, I'm talking about happy. Like, I know what I was working with wasn't much. But I was happy and I was still making it work, knowing that you know it's other software I want to do. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna build myself up to that software, so there's no point. So I wasn't that much worried about it. But then, uh, I started running into more troubles like doing reaction videos. I do the reaction, I don't watch nothing beforehand or anything like that. Right? I do reaction like this, is literally my first time ever eating Crab Kings. So that's why I did a reaction video. I'm not gonna do a reaction video for something I've already ate before. Unless it's like something new or something like, if I go, let's say I go to Crab Kings and I try the calamari, then I'll probably do another reaction video type deal. But other than that, it's my first time. But uh, I'm gonna try the lobster. I, I keep forgetting I have a whole lobster here. I haven't even touched the drink. I usually don't care about the butters or sauces or anything like that when I eat food. Hold on. I usually don't care about the butters or sauces when I eat food. It's just something about just... It's just something about eating it. It's just something about eating the food. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. It's just, I'm finna, I am finna. don't want to eat all this. Hold on. I want to. I still want to. I want to savor this though. I'm not going to eat all this. But uh, yeah. So I was doing it. Kept running into issues. Kept getting discouraged. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing it. It's not like I, I didn't expect to start off and go viral. No. I didn't expect it. I knew I was going to have to work. So I kept doing different videos, you know. And my videos started getting more and more views. And I'm over here like... And I got several views with videos with over 10,000 views. And I was like... Like, I was happy. And I see my subscribers still going up. Still going up. I'm like, I'm really, really like happy because I'm like, man, like, this is amazing. Um, I'm like, this is amazing. Like, people really like watching me. No matter whether it's good or bad, it's gonna happen. But uh, I was like, man, people are really watching me and everything. I was happy. And then <laughs> I started. I got a webcam. That was a. I'm always big on evolution. Let me tell you what that right there. I'm extremely big on evolution. Like, I believe in becoming a better you. Never wanted to. Never wanted to stay in that same spot. Like, never want to be just 
there. Never wanted to be stuck. Never wanted to be a steel person. You know, steel you. Like, wanted to be a better you. So, every time I got money, I don't like try to save it or whatnot. Even though I really didn't have money there. But, you know, I try to, like, finesse the system. Like, tell my mom, you know, buy me this, you know, do a little something here. That type of thing. I got a webcam. Made doing reaction videos so much easier. Oh, my God. I didn't have to make the video. Record off my phone. All that. Which was part of the troubles I was having. Because the phone at the time I had, when I, like, press record, sometimes it will record, sometimes it wouldn't record. So, obviously, the times it wouldn't record, I wasn't doing those videos anymore because I didn't already seen part of it. But the times, you know, it did record, or if I did it on my iPad, it was points where it would, like, stop when I edited it. Because I started editing on my iPad, like, before all this. It would stop, like, you would see, like, it would kind of be stopped or something. It was weird. that It, had, it was like a glitch, basically. So... I was like, man, I like that sucks. But I ain't able to get around it. And I got the welcome. And I learned about OBS. I'm like <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I was happy. Like, I'll tell you happy. I was making how many videos? Like I made I know one time I made like ten videos in one night. 10 videos and I would keep them because I never knew like if I was gonna be busy this time or may not be busy this moment I didn't know so I did that in just preparation so I was happy when I got it. so I was able to make more videos and do all that stuff but I didn't have a car and then part of my thing was part of evolution was being able to go out and do live reactions or full reactions. I needed a place to go. And I didn't have a job. So that was another <laughs> issue. Didn't have a job, so I didn't have money. Didn't have a car, so I couldn't actually go do it. But now, that's part of the evolution we have for this. But, let's go back to, you know, back then. So, let's say, I had a break. I forgot when it, what happened. I had a break. And, anytime I do a break, I don't ever come back at that same spot. That's my thing. If you ever do a break, don't ever come back where it left off. Come back like it's a new season. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's say it's a series. Like, I literally call these reaction seasons. Don't ever come back where you stopped off last season. Yeah. So, I came back with the webcam. I think that was one of the first breaks. So, that's when my iPad started messing up. I came back with the webcam. That was the evolution of the channel. <clears throat> then, I had another break. I'm not sure explain happened. So I started to use the channel what, two years ago now? I think it is two years ago. Uh, last year, at the beginning of the year, I was going real strong. Like, real strong. But then my dad told me, well, told my mom, and she told me that his cancer was back. So. That pretty much did a lot of a, a lot of long periods, long nights for me, where I really had to like do a whole bunch of videos in one night, and like just put them out over time. Like if you notice in my earlier videos, you'll see I made wore the same shirt for like ten videos or five videos or three videos, because I made all those videos in one night and just did them like put them out over time. So. That happened to where I didn't have to take care of him. I had to take him to his doctor visits. I had to go and I had to take him to um, his doctor visits. I had to go take him to make sure like 
everything was okay. Like, go to his house, make sure everything was okay. Uh, go grocery shopping for him, stuff like that. And then, things started getting worse during the summer. Uh, we were trying to find him an apartment for him somewhere to stay better than where he was living. But he was still worried about his girlfriend at the time. And we were about like what she was gonna do, where she was gonna stay. Cause the places we were looking at, they couldn't live together because they weren't married. So he was worried about her. So he, he didn't wanna move. So he still stayed there. But this is the summer in Memphis. Our air, our summers are crazy. And then our heat is crazy. He they had central air in the house he was staying in. <clears throat> so he was working off of like a little, little fan things. Like I got one in my room to help with my room and even sometimes you know that becomes unbearable with it so where i have to turn on that air but imagine that trying to take up a whole house in the summer so summer got worse and like i said i'm 23 at the time you know taking care of them um i'm the one that was taking care of them doing everything for them and using my mom's car because remember i don't have a car do i using my mom's car to go get them and everything and take them places and thank god for my auntie because it was sometimes where i had to go get him but i couldn't stay because let's say my mom had something she had to do so my auntie would go and stay with him at the, like the hospital stuff like that and then i go take the car back to my mom different stuff like that but in the midst of all that, not only my video started slowing down because I started suffering, not from depression, but I had a lot going on with me mentally because the issue I ran into was this is a man that only raised me for like four years of my life. Other than that, he was not part of my life. He was not part of my life. He didn't come to birthdays, didn't wish me happy birthday on the phone, none of that. He'll call my brother and tell him happy birthday, all of that, but never did that for me. So it was like, I'm the one that's taking care of him though. At the same time, it was kind of like battling with family, everything, like people wanted to try to take care of him, but nobody wanted to be that 24 seven take care, all right? I was. Then came kind to of the issue where people think I was taking care of him for his money. The man didn't have no money. He didn't have no money. But that became an issue that I had to run into. But that was where I got tired. Not taking care of him, but I got mentally tired <clears throat> and I wanted him in a better place. So I started looking for nursing homes. They'll be able to you know, take care of him. So I found, finally, finally after so long, so many months of looking, we were able to get him into a nursing home. And this is where it comes into play of me going to school. I went to Job Corps in Kentucky. That's the school I went to. This stuff is good, man. I went to school in Kentucky. And the first month I got there, it was kind of a lot for me. Not the school, nothing like that. But it was the fact that I felt like my family kind of deserted me. Like, kind of became too busy for me. Because it was moments where I would call and I would get told, oh, I'm busy, oh, I'm busy. Or I would ask, like, hey, can you come get me? Because I was trying to do a video for the Memphis Fest. It's the music festival in Memphis. I was trying to do a video for it, but I was there. 
And I was calling people like, hey, can you come get me? Everybody kept saying, no, I'm not coming to get you. No, I'm not coming to get you. Right now, four hours away. No, I'm not coming to get you. No, stay there. I'm like, okay. So I was like, I left it alone. So I started communicating with people. I didn't answer phone calls. I didn't answer text messages. None of that. I left it alone. You got to have time for me. I didn't have time for y'all. So I left it alone. So it got to a point where I was like over it. And in the midst of taking care of my dad, I never was resentful towards him. Never. I even asked uh, several times, like, like, why am I the one that has to take care of him? Like, out of everybody, why is it me? The one person that he had no communication with, his, he got three kids. I'm the youngest. The one that he never had communication with. Like, I forget they had tenders in there. But, uh, I'm the one, youngest one. The one he didn't really communicate with. The one he never wished happy birthday to. All that. And I'm taking care of him. Like, literally, this man's life is in my hand. Literally. And I'm like, alright. Okay. So that's where I say a lot of it became very mental for me. Because I'm taking care of somebody that basically deserted me and when I say this it's not like I'd be like oh well you didn't give him a chance no I gave him a chance I went to therapy where he was right there with me sitting across from me in therapy bawling his house out and then change so I had gave him chances but I still, I, like I said, I didn't hold him against him because I'm not that type of person. Far from that type of person. Um, so I started taking care of him. Everybody, nobody knew what was really going on because he didn't want people to know. So I was taking care of him. I got people mad at me. Why ain't you telling us? And I'm like. It's a grown man. He's still in his right stage of mind. Like, he didn't want nobody to know. It's legally and morally, honestly, for me to be like, yeah, okay. I'm not going to tell nobody. It's all right. And so, it finally came out where everybody finally knew. So then, it's not everybody, but majority of people were glad that I was taking care of them. They were glad. That it was me taking care of them. They were glad, happy about it. Everything. That I was the one taking care of them. And I was like, and a lot of people, they knew. Family knew. That he didn't have nothing to do with me. And my uncle, which is his younger brother, was even more happy that I took care of him. Because he knew. If not anybody knew, he knew on my dad's side that I had every reason not to. But he was happy that I did that. And a lot of people was probably like, yeah, you did. Because you're, you're, you're his child. No. No. I didn't have to do nothing. And a lot of people like, I know you're probably like, what happened to like my brother and whatnot. My brother had a whole child to provide for so it's not like I'm gonna be like you need to quit your job and help me no my nephew needs to be taken care of so that was not gonna come out of my mouth for him to help like that but he did help me and it was times where it got later and later on especially during the summer where my brother was the one to like take me to go check on them because when I tell you when my brother first went 
to go with me to check on him to do one of those checks that I normally did. Like I can just see the ghostness in my brother's face. To honestly see what I had to be going through. I just saw it in his face and I was like Like Yeah. Like that's what I'm going through. And at that time, that was one of the times I actually had to call uh, for the fire department to actually come get him because it was so hot in the house, whether he was drinking water or not, which he barely, at that time, it's basically, it's getting worse. But I had to call for the fire department and the ambulance to come get him so we had to take him to the hospital. He's dehydrated, like face sucking and everything, dehydrated. Took him to the hospital. Even then, that just like, don't know if he's gonna make it past this weekend. But he did, he did. But it was kind of like a, like a wow, like this man is really fighting. But you could tell like as time kept going and kept going, it started getting real rough for him. For uh, well, not for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's like I'm not gonna sit here and just sugarcoat anything, and not being harmless. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. It was getting hard for everybody because it was like it's it's getting close. We just don't know how close. So I'm saying I can't do this. It's too much mental strain for me. Like I'm mentally battling between my good and bad. Like, the good in me is like, yeah, take care of him, that's your dad. Like, that's a human being, regardless. Your dad and I, that's a human being too. Take care of him, he needs you. That's the type of person I am. I was like, all right. And then the bad in me was like, how many times have you called him with no answer? How many times, how many birthdays he missed? Like, what are you doing? Like, literally, that's, this is the battle I was having. Like, what are you doing? Like, he got an attitude with you? Mm -mm, leave now. Like, stuff like that. But the good of me was like, if I didn't have anybody, I would pray to God that somebody, somebody would want to. Help me. Be there for me. Even in my last moments. But. Fast forward. Finally got him secured into a place. It was the right place. Everything. And. I'm going to school. I'm going to go do something. To get away. To get my mind off of this. I told my uncle. My uncle agreed. He was all right with it. Um, I told him. He said, go do it. I went. Did it. Um, let's come fast forward back to where we at. Uh, so, it's where I was at. And I had Metro. Still got Metro, but I had Metro then. I got Verizon too. But I had Metro only. There was no service, barely, barely, for Metro. Like, you could call me one moment, and I have full bars, like when I walk off center, I have full bars. But on center, I barely have one bar. And certain places on center, like the gym and stuff, I had no bars. But um, other than that, uh, I finally got, this is my mom text. No, it was a text message. And she was like, please call, answer the phone, anything. It's about your dad. Please, please, please. I said, by the way, these crabs are delicious. They're delectable. I, I know I probably passed up on sound now, but they're delectable. But um, I... They're delectable. I, uh... Called her. 
And she's like, the doctor's been trying to call you. The doctor's been trying to call you. Trying to get in contact with you. She's going to call you. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. I'm like, okay. She's like, it's about your dad. I'm like, okay. Answer the phone, and it's the doctor. And that's when she's telling me, like, hey, this may be it. Basically, the gist of it. This may be it. Uh, she was like, his oxygen. We're giving him oxygen, but she was like, we're honestly giving him too much oxygen. To where it's actually hurting him. You're making him uncomfortable. And by the way, my dad was on do not resuscitate. Because, oh yeah, he had stage four cancer, lung cancer. It was out, the, out of his body. And it became fully in his brain, right? It was just left in his brain. Couldn't do nothing. Um, she was like, yeah, it's, it's basically, we can't do nothing else at this time except for, you know, just let them be comfortable. But she's like, the oxygen is hurting them. And it's something else she said that was going on. And she was like, we need you to come. They need me to come to the hospital so I can, you know, arrange everything. Because it was literally like they really weren't expecting him to even last, like, from me getting home because I had to take a bus home. They weren't expecting me, him to last even the next day. So I said, okay, you know, I'm going to, I'm on my way. And I told everybody, got the arrangements set up, and I was like, I'm on my way. Not even 30 minutes later, they're getting everything set up. I got the call from my mom saying he passed away. It didn't hit me then. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't hit me for to cry for him. Or, you know, the cry that I lost him. Because, honestly... I lost him years ago. When I cried, I cried because my mom. I cried, I cried because of my mom. I cried because of my brother. That's why I cried. Because my brother was there. I actually, like, literally in the room when my dad passed away. He literally saw his father take his last breath. And the reason why I cried for my brother, because I don't remember, like, our dad taking care of me. Don't remember it. Not taking it away from him, but I don't remember it. But my brother was 10. Yeah, 10. When my parents divorced. So he lived his childhood with our father. He lived it with them. So he had more memories than I did. And not even just his childhood. Growing up, he had more memories because our dad would still come get him and spend time with him. That's part of my resentment. But still had came and got him and did stuff with him. So, yeah. But that's what the pain I felt. Because my brother, whether he wants to admit it or not, he was mad at our dad. He was mad. And I knew he was. But. I knew that he loved them at the same time. And. No matter what goes on. I will forever. Whether he knows it or not. I feel my brother's pain. Which is weird. I do. Like, if something is off about me, I know it's attached to him somehow. I know it. And he can't tell me that it's not. Because I know. So, I felt, I felt this pain. And that's what made me cry. I thought about my mom. Because my mom, she was like, she wanted to take my dad back whenever he finally got his life together. But... He never did. And that, that's a man she loved. Like, my mom, 
loved him. Like, through all the crap, everything. She loved him. Period. So, I felt their pain. Because even then, I knew my brother still wanted to finally have their relationship with our dad again. But it was too late. But, well, but it was too late. So that's why I cried when my dad died. I couldn't cry for me. Because I had already cried enough. You know how when you people say, oh, I cried enough tears? That was no joke for me. I had cried enough. Like when I tell you years of counseling, years of everything, I had cried enough. There's no point for me to continue to cry. But that's what happened on my end. Um, but stayed in school, through it all, finished, graduated valedictorian. I still had came back to YouTube yet. But that was the reason why I did my first stop. No, my second stop. So. Hey. Hey, she ain't nobody gonna try that lobster. Everybody know. If I get a lobster, it's over with. If I get a lobster, it's over with. But that was the first time I stopped YouTube. You know, second time I stopped YouTube. But when I came back, I came back with the giveaways. That's what I came back with. I came back harder with the giveaways. That's what it was. And then I ended up stopping recently because I had got a new job and I wanted to do, you know, some better. But not only did I get a new job, I ended up getting another computer. And I had to wait on my computer. And the reason why I was okay with waiting on this computer, because this computer was, I'm mad. I was gonna be able to do Final Cut Pro stuff like that. So now, guess what? I'm able to do Final Cut Pro. So the vlogs are gonna get a lot better when I'm able to start back doing vlogs. The vlogs are gonna be nice, everything. So like I said, I'm ecstatic with the changes I've made. I'm ecstatic with how things are gonna continue to go. And I also what have I have now is I bought a mic setup. Like the setup for like the boom thing and everything like that for my reaction videos. And I also bought a green screen it's supposed to be here what is it the 18th october 18th it's supposed to be here so i mean reaction videos are finna be on steroids <laughs> but <laughs> i'm excited i'm happy i right. through this whole process it has been nothing but a blessing nothing but a blessing <laughs> and the reason why I was saying about the giveaway. When I get a hundred, not a hundred, oh, I get a thousand. <laughs> when there are yet. When I get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give away a pair of shoes. And the pair of shoes I'm giving away is the 720 Adele Beckham Jr. King of Drips. The size nine and a half, used obviously. I just, they're too big. I'm tired of it. And I said, why not do it for a video? I'm going to give those away. But I'm still going to have a regular, you know, video. Regular giveaways. Because I still got more in the gift cards. Never spent them. Still got them. Yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. But that's, that's the huge thousand subscriber giveaway that I'm going to do. It may be a video. Or I may actually ship it to somebody. Who knows? Or I may just do that as the video and just y'all see me give them away i don't know we'll see 
But that's gonna be the thousand subscriber giveaway. A pair of shoes. And that also when I have a sneaker collection video that I'm gonna do giveaway. Cause thankful to my newest job <laughs> became a huge sneakerhead on top of already being a sneakerhead I was. But physically being able to have shoes. Like right now I have on the Nike Viotech 2.0s. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep growing. And we're gonna keep going. Like keep going this like strong period. I honestly thank y'all so much. The food is amazing. I review everything except for the pork sausages. I can have those. But thank you. Honestly. Um There's so many things that I could say, or I could continue to say, but I honestly, honestly, just want to say thank you. Cause y'all don't understand. Even I know I'm not even making money yet, but just even for seeing the support I have right now, it means so much, so much. And I just want to continue to be. Come a better me. And I want y'all to put that in your own life as well. Always strive to become a better you. Evolution is more than just Darwin evolution. It's just, it's your own evolution. Don't ever want to be a still person. Don't ever want to be stuck. Don't ever want to be okay. Please don't. Like, I just want people to see that life is fantastic because it is well and shout out to my chakra bracelet I'm gonna talk more about that in another video but right now y'all got this mukbang I'm not gonna finish all this on camera I'm gonna let y'all go at this point because I told y'all a little bit gave you a little bit more of what the future is calm I have so many Things I want to do with this channel. Oh yeah, another thing. My name is not only going to be T Rose. My panhandle on everything is Teddy My Nature. So I kind of want to kind of like, what is it, integrate over it to Teddy By Nature as being my name. So that's another story one day to how I got my name, but it's really my name, like. I say, but yeah, it's T Rose, aka Teddy by Nature, and I definitely want to thank y'all for the, watching this video. If you watched it to the end, if not, it's up to y'all. But thank you, thank you. Uh, get to a thousand subscribers and love, peace, and music. I'm out. Listen. I got a disclaimer. I still got the beard on. Y'all. If y'all don't go eat at Crab Kings. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Oh my god. I know I kind of got sidetracked. With the video a little bit. But man. Well I'll tell you. That that food good. I ain't lying to you. You know how sometimes you get places, you don't, you can't taste the season, you don't taste the flavor, or let's say the, it, it's, it don't, it's too much, uh, it's not, a, you know, not enough. Boy, if y'all don't go get y'all some crab kings, this is not the last. It may be the first, but it's not the last. Man. Listen, I see that. I told my mom, I said, I'm gonna say something for you now. So I'm gonna say something for you. Let me tell y'all, man, if you don't, if you got something bad to say about Crab King, something wrong with you. Customer service is pretty decent to me. Man, what's wrong with it? I already ordered my food, just had to go pay and pick it up. That's all I had to do. Listen, tell you, 
I heard some bad things about the other places. Like, I'm not gonna name them names. I'm probably gonna try them one day. But this place, I hear nothing bad. I heard not one negative thing about them. Not one. And I said, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them. To me, if you don't know who I am, I'm gonna call myself a YBN, young bougie nigga. I will spend money on food. I spend money on technology. I spend money on clothes. If it's something I like, I like it. Okay. But, I'm telling y'all, <clears throat> y'all need to go try that food though. No cap. Real true. You saw me eating it. It ain't like I was able to like, Switch a Rooney or something. I was eating it. Saw the cup. I was really eating that food. It was really good. What a receipt it. In my pocket. And this ain't no pay. Like, I paid for myself. They ain't paying me for nothing. So why would they pay me anyway? I ain't nobody. Look. I'm going to show y'all this part right here. I'm going to show y'all how much I paid. Y'all going to be like, really? Like, really, 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 really. Look at that right there. They let it focus. Look at that. Look at that, you see, you see that? It's good. <laughs> it's, it's good. Let me see if it got the address on it. I'm gonna give y'all the exact address too. You know, hold on. Yeah, slap that at the 7140 Stage Road, Barlett, Tennessee. 38133, come on, let me show you that. Let me show you that too, hold on. And just so y'all know, that none of this is no cap. And y'all know that this is really real. Look at that. That's the info right there. Y'all, y'all need to go do that. Y'all need to go handle that biz. You need to go follow them on Facebook, call them, place your order, and go pick it up and get it. <sighs> I'm just amazed. We're going to see who the next who the next place going to be. I'm going to take y'all. I'm probably going to take y'all. Yeah, we're going to see. Yeah, I got something still in my sleep. I want y'all to see. Watch the next video. Watch the next video. Mm -hmm.